found that there is an interest on the market for finding a lightweight and small size solution for the modernization programs of future soldiers. And then when it comes to command and control solutions, so we then launched our uh, nine land soldier SPAD product this summer at Eurosaturday. So that was the first time we showed uh, our product. And we know that a lot of armies uh, now are pre preparing for procurements uh, on a command and control solution for the soldiers. Uh, and we also noticed that uh, we, we then needed to find communication uh, solutions for different markets of that. And so from that perspective, we have integrated now uh, the Radmore uh, personal system radio 35010 uh, and show here at MSPO as a world premiere. So this is our uh, command and control solution together with Radmore. Also showing that we cooperate with Polish companies in our strategy for the Polish market. Uh, and uh, as I also already mentioned, the, the, the weight of the equipment is, is uh, very much limited to, to uh, as much as we can. And uh, just this uh, handheld piece, the weight of that is 185 gram. And the whole uh, solution is uh, under one kilogram. And that is very important because the soldier is, so, is carrying already so much equipment. So we really have to look for solutions that uh, do not have too much weight. The Android based, based handheld device. And now it's mounted in the chest pocket. So you can have this way and still walk around carrying your gun. The system works and even reports your first tracking in this way. If you want to, it's still able to do an arm mounting if that's preferred. The system consists of this handheld unit and then we have a connection box and, place, and a battery solution now placed in this pouch. It's possible to place them wherever you best for the individual soldier and from the connection box now we have a data cable connection to this Radmar radio for data communication between these soldier systems. The most basic need is, is the blue force, blue force tracking, letting everybody else in your group know where you are uh, and uh, finding your own position on the map. So we preload the device with map data for the, for the current missions. And here is an example where you see a couple of blue units that different vehicles in, in your platoon. Um, and there are some hostile units as well, the red ones. So this is the basic uh, uh, situation awareness picture. We have hardware buttons as well, that's the, that's the touch. They're on the top and on the sides, so you can easily operate them with with one hand, pushing these and that, and you can reach these ones. So this is the main yeah. main view. Then we have two other views uh, for different purposes. Yeah. We have the the compass view, uh, where your it's centered right around your position, and you get. The, then you get a feeling of in which direction other units are. So is there a gyroscope inside or GPS? Not a gyroscope, but accelerometer and magnetic field sensors. Okay. Uh, and you can also overlay map data here if you want to. Uh, and then we have uh, navigation support. So you could have uh, different routes stored that you plan ahead, so then you have waypoint marker and the end of destination. If you've been on a mission and then suddenly you encounter the enemy or some some threat and you have to, well I have to, I can't engage but I have to go find my way back. Then we could, since this system is, is tracking you all along, now you get the GPS positioning via this radio. We could use other solutions for that one. We're compatible with military GPS systems. Um, uh, then we save, save that data. So at any time you could request from the system to guide me 
the same way I came here. Follow my footsteps back. Oh. Since the system collects that information, you can initiate it and it will take you back the same way you came. Because that was the safe route. So the hand we can do, like here we could do, uh, simple, simple reporting of, of enemies. If I, I'm at, I'm at some position, I say, well, right over here, I want to report, report an enemy, and I can pinpoint that one. And place it there. Now I could do. I will probably use my radio to contact my commander or, or something, and, yeah. and say that. Well, I've encountered the enemy, but he will get it on his screen as well. And now, yeah, at least they see the exact position. Yeah, it might not be the exact, but it, it's much better than saying, "Well, the enemy was at, on the second hill there behind those trees." Well, yeah. so you get better system support. Uh, and we also. Uh, have found out that uh, the soldier he should be focusing on his mission. I mean, the task, what's he doing? He's patrolling or whatever, pursuing something. And uh, and uh, he then he has to be has a, 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 a possibility to operate uh, the solution uh, just one-handed. So this has also been a very important requirement to, to, to solve. And he should also be able to use, uh, uh, I mean, gloves on for the, for, for the display. And uh, having that uh, still working. Uh, and uh, the basic function here is the blue for tracking. Because uh, the, the, the situational awareness around him is very important for him uh, to all, have all the time the report of where are my colleagues, of course, so he can avoid uh, blue and blue shooting and also ha having a reporting from, from his platoon commander if necessary. And also using a Radmar radio integrated to our BMS solution. So now we've interconnected these systems, but the soldier systems work stand alone and can integrate with other BMS solutions as well. This is, a, this is our solution that... So it can be integrated with the BMS onboard vehicles and... Exactly. Command vehicles. This, this, this is an example of a hardware uh, that's used to be fitted inside some armor vehicle. Yeah, yeah. So it's rugged and the BMS works with touch, touch screen as well, with buttons on both sides and additional hardware buttons. So, so we would tr try to... Uh, to design the, the, the product in a, very, in a modular way uh, from the beginning because uh, then it can be tailored uh, to the end customer needs and, and uh, also finding uh, the necessary partners locally and also to be tailorized for the customer requirements. And just for one example, I mean, it's of course, so the soldier fed solution is radio agnostic as a design. And here we show it as one example with the Radmo radio for Polish market. But if other customers would like other communication solutions, I mean, SPAL is ready for that. It's just a question of a couple of hours of integration with the system. It's a very important design feature for our